Hi, I'm Fiona from Kidspot. Today we're making Easter bonnets. Now this is a great one to get the kids excited about Easter and they can wear it in the Easter bonnet parade at school. So what you'll need is small and large foam eggs, two large sheets of cardboard, paint, a paintbrush, some decorative paper, feathers, ribbon, glue and some double-sided tape. So first you'll need to start with some foam eggs of different sizes and you can get them from any craft or $2 shop and then what you'll need to do is just cut them straight down the middle. So like these ones that I've already done here and then we're going to paint them. Now you can choose any colour scheme you want. I've chosen the pinks and the purple. So I'll do this one a light pink. I'll do this one a hot pink. So we're just going to paint right to the edges all around. You might get a bit messy. Now we're going to put those aside to dry. So while our eggs are drying, we're going to get our cardboard. Now we need a ruler for this one. So we're going to get our ruler and we're going to measure 30 centimetres from the bottom of the cardboard. We're going to make a little mark. And we're also going to measure 2 centimetres from the bottom and mark that as well. And now what we need to do is we need to cut along this line. So we're going to get our scissors. We're going to cut a straight line all the way across. Like that. And then along the bottom we're going to draw a line that goes all the way across, two centimetres from the bottom. Then we're going to make little incisions all the way along the bottom, just like this. Now this is one under here that I've already completed. So this is the basis for our bonnet. Now we're going to get our pretty paper and you can choose whatever pattern you like. You can pick whatever colour or pattern you want. So now what we need to do is measure from the bottom, from that line down the bottom and cut off the remaining paper. So here's one I've already done. And that fits perfectly. And two bits for the side. Now what we need to do is stick this on. So we'll get our double sided tape once we've worked out where it's going to go. So we'll just lay down our double sided tape. right across the top and across the bottom. And then we'll peel that off. Like that. There we go. And now we're going to stick our pretty paper on so that it sits right on that line down the bottom. This is going to be the outside of our Easter bonnet, so here we go. So now we're going to decorate our bonnet. So I'm going to grab some more double side tape. I'm going to put it right along the bottom and cut that. So we're going to put four strips all along the bottom just so it's extra strong. So now press them down, we're going to peel them off one at a time. These can be a bit tricky to start, there we go. So there's one. So now we'll just get our feathers and we're just going to place them on the double sided tape and stick them down, line them up. So just put them all along the bottom right to the edge. Now once all the feathers are on we'll take our egg from before and we'll get some ribbon. And we're just going to tie a nice bow around the egg for the front of the bonnet. So we'll just leave about that much room. Cut it and then we're just going to tie a nice bow. 
So there we have our nice egg and that's going to go right in the middle. So now we need our glue and we're going to stick the eggs on. So we'll start with the big one and make sure you put a lot of glue on just so they stay in place. Put some on the ribbon too. And that one, make sure it's nice and centred. Just press it down, hold it down firmly. And now I'll do the others on either side. And like I said, you can use any colour scheme that you want for your eggs. And last one. There we go. Okay, so we need to wait for those to dry. Okay, so now that those eggs, the glue has dried, we'll just pick this up and we're going to turn it into our bonnet. So we just need to staple the top like that and then we'll do the bottom. Just be aware of the eggs and make sure you don't crush them. So now we staple there. Might just do an extra one. And we're going to draw around the inside with a pencil. So we've got a circle that's the same size as the hat. And then just about that much space on either side. I'm going to draw another bigger circle. And then we need to just cut that out. So now you've got your brim of your hat and your next step is to get some double sided tape and just to stick tiny pieces of it all around the base of the bonnet. So that's what we're going to stick our brim to. Now a little tip is to make it easier if you just make a cut in the brim and then it's going to be a lot easier to just place that around the base of the bonnet like that. And then we're going to stick our little bits all around to hold it in place. Like that. And there we go. Now this is obviously a bit more of an effort to make this one. There's a bit more involved, but as you can see, it's definitely worth it in the end.